Welcome to Train Sim World 2, the immersive and highly detailed rail simulation featuring authentic routes and trains from around the world. You've just been awarded some action points. These are displayed in the top right corner of the screen and count towards your overall experience. It is necessary to be fully observant of the surrounding world. Practice by... Besides operating trains, there are lots of requirements to navigate on foot. Try moving around now. This is one of many interactives to be discovered, but not all of them will be as easy to find as this one. Bitte achten Sie auf den Abstand zwischen Zug- und Bahnsteigkante. You can pause the experience at any point and review previous and current objectives. Check it out now, then return to the game when ready. A lot of time will be spent operating trains, so when ready, sit in the driver's seat. A heads-up display has appeared on the right side of the screen. This is a guide to what the train is doing. This is the speed display. The current speed will be represented by a moving bar. The red marker indicates the current maximum permitted speed. This is the direction display. An arrow will indicate forward, reverse and neutral directions. This is the power display. A number will indicate what position the power control is in. These are brake indicators. They show the state of the various brake systems allowing independent management of them. In the top right are the signal and speed limit displays. These feature an indication of what is approaching and a countdown distance to when they will come into effect. Some of these displays can be hidden via the settings menu for a more challenging experience. 
This train is ready to go. Push the indicated handle all the way forward to get moving. Munchen Central Station is the southern tip of a high-speed rail network providing fast, efficient travel all over Germany. This particular train features eight cars. Each one has traction motors located between the axles for a lighter, faster and more efficient operation. Train Sim World 2 allows you to ride and drive from an internal and external viewpoint. Let's take a look now while this train is in motion. You've only explored a small area here, so let's take a look at what else there is to enjoy. Welcome to Bavaria in southern Germany. Climb aboard both international and local trains that service a highly modern multi-track railway. Race along at up to 230 km an hour operating under the control of the LZB signalling system. And keep the travelling public moving with the high capacity BR423 S-Bahn trains. Sleek Express or Mass Transit, you're in the driver's seat. Along the way, don't forget to place route maps, install bicycle maintenance points, maintain trackside equipment, and repair damaged emergency telephones. This is Halbstrecke München Ausberg. Welcome to driver training here at München Passing. Today you'll be learning to drive this BR423 electric multiple unit in DB traffic red livery. This brief introduction will cover critical driving controls and passenger operations. Climb aboard to get started. Take a seat in the driver's position. This is where you'll be spending most of your time. To activate the control desk, insert the reverser. The reverser is used to set the direction of travel. Take a quick glance of the platform to ensure all is safe, then unlock the doors. It's time to get going. Set the doors to locked.
From here, you will be guided to the next station stop, Munchen Line. This multiple unit features a combined power brake handle called a master controller. It is currently in the brake range. Move the handle past the off position and into the power range to get moving. Coasting is a method used to efficiently maintain speed and reduce engine stress and maintenance requirements. Keeping to the speed limit is important. If you begin to overspeed, move the master controller into the braking range to slow down. Apply a small amount of brake force to achieve a comfortable, safe stop. Take a quick glance at the platform to ensure all is safe, then unlock the doors. It's time to get going. Set the doors to locked. Operate the train to the next stop at Ausberg Hopsol without instruction this time and see how you get on.
Good work. That concludes all of the basics of operating this train. Welcome to driver training here at Auschberg Main Station. Today, you'll be learning to drive this BR403 high-speed train in Intercity Express White. This brief introduction will cover critical driving controls and passenger operations. Climb aboard to get started. Take a seat in the driver's position. This is where you'll be spending most of your time. The reverser determines the direction of travel. Set the exterior lights for the expected operation. Take a quick glance at the platform to ensure all is safe before unlocking the doors. It's time to get going. Set the doors to locked. For this introduction, you'll be driving along the high-speed line towards München. After departure, you'll be taught how to activate the AFB control system. The train is now ready to depart. Release the brakes and apply a small amount of power to get moving. Coasting is a method used to efficiently maintain speed and reduce motor stress and maintenance requirements. To engage the AFB system, ensure the throttle is not in use. Move the AFB lever to the indicated speed and then navigate to the appropriate screen on the multifunction display.
activate AFB as indicated. You can now apply full power using the throttle and the AFB system will operate the train to the set speed. To change the train speed, simply adjust the position of the AFB lever. Engage the AFP system to ensure the throttle is not in use. Deactivate AFP. Bring this train to a stop as indicated. Good work. That concludes all of the basics of operating this train.